Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals and I am very excited to launch my next free journaling course. So every year I like to do this, I like to release one free course and one paid course and the free course is going to be available right here on my YouTube channel and I'm calling it the I Am Creative Journaling Course. It's about identifying and replacing the negative self-talk and lies we tell ourselves by finding the words and truths that we need to hear. For me, it's a faith-based course because I'm going to be using scriptures as my base to come up with a few, well, actually I've got 12, <laughs> I am sentiments or statements, uh, but you can definitely adapt this course to suit you where you're at and rather than using scriptures, you might want to use um, quotes or even like things like song lyrics, poetry lines, um, or come up with your own phrases. That's always a fun thing to do. Um, and you don't have to come up with 12, but we'll be going through uh, a journaling reflection process where you can, you know, identify your negative self-talk, the lies, um, and, you know, critic voice struggles and insecurities, fears, worries, challenges, all that kind of thing, and then replacing them with those words, those encouraging, comforting, loving, kind words that will build you up. You know, all my courses are about self-discovery um, and self-care and creating more self-love for ourselves through the art of reflection, journaling, and creativity. And I'm so excited for this course. I'm going to be doing a new type of structure, very much inspired by another course that I've taken. And, you know, all my courses are a combination of everything that I've been learning and doing and thinking about and the things that have worked for me and the things that I want to pass on to help others because I know how much it has helped me. And so this structure, it's going to be about a five or six part structure where we're going to be making a journal together and then filling it up, um, coming up with the words for it and coming up with the pieces to decorate the pages. So they're all different sections. So the first section is where we're gathering supplies and each, each section will have multiple videos per section. So it will be about gathering supplies. Um, in one video, I'll share with you what you need to make the journal. In another video, I'll share with you how to curate a scrap box. In another video, I'll share how to curate your treasures and how to organize and store them and all that kind of thing. We're going to go through a magazine and find images and words. Um, and the heart behind this one is definitely to use the things, to use all of the items that you have in your collection, the treasures and the scraps and the personal ephemera and the store-bought things. Here is the journal that we'll be making together um, or an example of it. We're going to be using an envelope as our base. So simple supplies, you know, things that people would have around the house. Um, if you don't have one, they're like super affordable to get packs of 50 or 100. Um, and you can then make as many journals as you want out of these wonderful envelopes. It's a way I make journals all the time. And because this is going to be sort of like a art journal, creative journaling, very heavily visual collage based journal, um, we're going to be using this smaller size and I did measure the journal and I think it ended up being about 23 centimeters by 16 centimeters roughly but all to say you don't have to use the exact same envelope that I'm using um, if you want a bigger journal you can definitely use any material to make your journal out of um, but yeah, I like the smaller size for this type of journaling because it's less intimidating to fill up the pages. Here's my curated scrap box <clears throat> that is a mess at the moment. So we're going to go through all of that, we'll take all the things out and I'll show you how I curate it, um, and how I prepare for this course. And you can see other supplies on my desk with pegs, um, different types of supplies. Um, so after the gathering phase, we're going to turn to the journal making phase where we're going to look at the cover, the pages, the binding, preparing it for our words. 
So yeah, this is an example of what we will be making featuring our scraps and treasures collaged onto the cover. And then the next section will be the reflection journaling prompt section where you'll I'll lead you through some exercises and creative prompts for um, and free writing for identifying the, the negative self-talk and um, identifying the struggles and insecurities that we have and then finding the truth to replace them and then finally typing them all up. If you have a typewriter, that's great. If you don't, you can just handwrite them or print them out on a computer. Um, so we're going to type them all up first on different papers and I'll show you how to do that. So they're all ready to go and you'll identify the 12 or five or however many I am statements you're going to come up with. And then the next section, we will be, after we've gathered everything and um, got our words now, we will start layering our pieces onto the journal pages. And then the final section is the journaling. So it's really cool. Instead of like coming to a page and being like, okay, what can I find? What do I need to find for this? What words do I need to put on here? What will I journal about? Instead, it's already, it's all been set up for you. You've already gathered the supplies. You've already got your statement. You've already laid onto the page. And then the last final step is the journaling. And you don't even have to journal if you don't want to. You can just fill your book with the I am statements and decorate it and leave it at that. But me being a journaler, I want to leave spaces for journaling as well. So yeah, I really love this process, this structure, and I hope you love it too. And if you would like to be part of this course, you can go ahead and just start thinking about what kind of supplies you'd want to use. Maybe start organizing your space and pulling out some things. But yeah, we'll definitely be going through um, the specific categories of supplies and you'll be curating your own supplies for this journal project so that you're not overwhelmed with like everything <laughs> that you have. And then the idea is that you'll only be drawing from your collection that you've gathered and it's all right there. So I am very excited. I have already filmed all of the videos for that first gathering section. Yay. And then the next section I have to film is making the journal. So after this, the next video will go through what you need for making the journal. And I've got all of that on my desk here. You can see all the papers there that will be for the pages of the journal. And yeah, I'm very, very excited. <laughs> um, let me see, what else do I need to say? If I've missed anything, it'll be in the description box below. I'm not sure how frequent the videos will be. They'll, I'm thinking at least one a week, maybe two or three a week, um, depending on how fast I can film the videos for you. Um, but it's definitely go at your own pace and you can always come back to it. Um, I've got other free courses on my channel. There's a list journal course and an inspiration journal course, which is a collage based one. Um, and these ones are, you know, my free ones, they're always on my channel. So you, you can find them and do them again or do them whenever suits you. So this one, if you're like, oh, I love the sound of it it's speaking to me, but I don't have the time right now you can join this course anytime. <laughs> if you are still watching in five years, you or you just found this video in five years time, you can still do this course. Um, it's definitely just go at your own pace. Um, there's also going to be an option, I think, of some Zoom calls to go along with it because I know some people love more accountability and community. I know not everyone loves Zoom calls as well, so of course they're completely optional. The Zoom call part of it though will be paid, but it'll just be like $5 per Zoom call um, just to help with like for people to feel safe and you know, especially me, the teacher running it, to feel safe, um, not just having absolutely anyone and everyone joining. Um, you know, especially we're showing our faces. You don't have to show your face, but I will be showing my face and just feel a bit more comfortable, um, you know, having that in place. Um, so we'll, yeah, 
get into that a bit later on when we get more into the course and figure out how that works. Uh, but if you are interested in doing this course and want to join in, and if you do want to be part of that, the optional Zoom calls, uh, let me know either in the comments or in an email. All my details on ways to contact me are in the description box below. And yeah, I am looking forward to doing this course with you. And I should mention that it is for beginners and intermediate and advanced journalists. So I take you step by step through this process and all you really need is um, papers and scraps. And of course, if you have treasures that you've been hoarding in personal ephemera, you can use that as well. Um, for my paid course that I'm going to run, I'm, I'm going to pretty much take this template of a course, um, different content matter, but this sort of structure, but taking it to an 11. So more for people who have more of an extensive supply list, like we're going to be using textiles and fabrics and metal pieces and charms and more paint and all sorts of things. There'll be um, more creative techniques in that, in that paid course. Um, but this one, very much an entry level one. Anyone can do it. So if this is speaking to your heart and calling to you, I so look forward to joining you with this course.